Hi there, I'm Susie Cohen, America's Pharmacist, and for most of us, hiccups occur for a few minutes and resolve on their own. But what if they were intractable, meaning they were hard to control and didn't go away? Most of the time, hiccups occur when you've eaten too fast or you swallow too much air while eating or drinking. Maybe you drank something fizzy or went from a warm house into the freezing cold. That can also trigger hiccups. Again, short-term hiccups go away on their own, usually within a few minutes. But what if they didn't subside for days or for weeks? It's just crazy to think about, but one man had hiccups for 20 years before he found a resolution. Having intractable hiccups can lead to illness. For example, it can cause malnourishment, dehydration, mental stress, chest pain, and abdominal discomfort, just to name a few. What's really maddening is you can't even speak without hiccups constantly interrupting you. If you haven't consulted a doctor for prolonged hiccups, make that your priority. It's easier to treat if your doctor knows the root cause, so make sure you provide a complete medical history and a list of medications. Don't leave anything off. Other than eating too fast or swallowing air, there are other causes for regular hiccups. These include drinking alcohol and having GI reflux. But it's the more unusual causes I'm discussing today. Right now, I'd like to share the five most bizarre reasons for intractable hiccups. Number one, steroid use. Prescriptions that belong to the corticosteroid family can trigger hiccups. It doesn't matter if you take them orally or by injection. Two examples are dexamethasone and those prednisone dose packs. Number two, thyroid problems. You may not even realize you have a thyroid problem because tests are inaccurate and inconclusive, but nodules, hyperthyroidism, or goiters can lead to hiccup episodes. Sometimes iodine supplementation is used for goiters. Regardless of treatment, just know that problems in the thyroid gland can trigger hiccups. Number three, pericarditis. This is inflammation of the heart tissue, which usually causes chest pain, fatigue, leg swelling, and shortness of breath. I'm listing pericarditis as a bizarre cause because hiccups aren't usually the presenting symptom. Number four, shingles. To date, only three people have ever reported having severe hiccups prior to the onset of their herpes zoster lesions. I'm reminded of a 29-year-old otherwise healthy man who had unrelenting hiccups about four to six per minute for two days prior to the skin eruption. So this is a bizarre but possible prodromal warning of shingles. Number five, medications. Dozens of different prescribed and over-the-counter medications can lead to intractable hiccups. As a pharmacist, I've seen this over and over. It doesn't happen to everyone, but it's a really uncomfortable side effect. The most common offenders are tranquilizers, sedative hypnotics, anxiolytics, antipsychotics, antihistamines, and some antihypertensives. I know you know this. Short-term hiccups go away on their own. Sometimes you can stop them by holding your breath for a few seconds or drinking ice cold water, but scaring people will never work. Oftentimes medication is needed and today the best options are risperidone, gabapentin, phenytoin, and baclofen. If you're interested in more information about gabapentin, I have another video you can watch. There should be a link on this video. Also, I have a much more comprehensive article that includes even more bizarre causes for intractable hiccups. It's available at my website. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm Susie Cohen. I'm a real life pharmacist, so I know a lot about medications and metabolic pathways. I've been writing medical articles for 30 years. You may have seen me in your local newspaper or some popular morning shows. If you're interested on my advice regarding a specific health topic, I invite you to use the search box at my website, suzycohen.com. I've used my knowledge of pharmaceuticals and herbs to formulate custom dietary supplements and skincare formulas that actually work. Please check the description below for links to my blog and my vitamin shop. Also, hit that subscribe button if you'd like to watch more content like this. Don't forget to ring the notification bell too.